It's that time of year for festivities and holiday cheer. Around this time of year, lots of people like to decorate to celebrate their holiday traditions. However, there is one house that dwarfs all the competition. Lights, trees, everything. You will never find a house that is more decked out and loaded than the one we're about to go investigate. So come along and see it with us. Uh, well, first, I need to actually look up the address. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's see what they have. This is turned into tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to get the East from Swords House. Here it is. This is the school I attend called East High. Look at all these land houses. Is that it? Oh. You will know it when you see it. Okay. Believe, me. Believe it or not, this is not the house. This is not the house. Look at that decor. This is not the house, ladies Do and gentlemen. Think do you think that can be outclassed? I, it, I wouldn't think so. Ah, uh, see, look at this lineup of cars. They're all here to see it. Honestly, it's a little bit less than what I remember from years past. Although, they did a great job with the lights and I like the wreath around the door. I'm sorry, I'm not impressed, Soren. Um, actually, do you think maybe it's this house across the street? I no. no. Actually, I think it might be this. You, one. Is it this yeah. one? Okay. Care for a candy cane? I would love a candy cane. I'm not impressed. I could decorate better than this. Oh yeah? yeah I bet I could. Yeah? Let's let's see it then, Sword. Let's see it? Yeah, all let's right. see it. Why don't we head back to my house and you can see what decorating really is all about. Oh I would love to. Now that is how you do some nice decoration. If I do say so myself. Whatever you like to celebrate this time of year. We hope you all have a great winter break and we'll see you next year. Sit him down. It'll be all right. Hi, my name is Elise Evans and this year I started the Student Serving Students Club. So this club we're going to be doing projects with the stash in the boutique to help kids get what they need. The stash is our school pantry. If you need food or hygiene items, even clothing, you can talk to our student and family services manager, TC Provost, and she will get you anything you need. This is a QR code for the group me if you want to join the club and to hear about announcements activities and meetings we'll be having. Have you heard of the leopard? The Leopard is East High's school newspaper, and if you didn't know we had a school newspaper, well, I'm glad you know now. It's actually a really interesting read. This one's covering the, um, um, this is actually not the Leopard, this is the Tribune, I just painted over it. Uh, the Leopard doesn't really have a physical edition at the moment, it's more of a, um, um, well, let me show you something. This is the Leopard, it's more of an online resource where students can write about stuff that's happening at the school or uh, in the community as a whole. If you're interested in joining the Leopard at all, then you can take the journalism class whenever registration comes along this January. But, you know, they write some seriously awesome articles, like about the earthquake that happened uh, two years ago this March. Remember that? Life comes at you pretty fast. You know what also happened around that time two years ago this March? Lockdown started.
and the Leopard is actually celebrating that period by releasing their own physical edition of the Leopard at that time. And for it, they are looking for user-submitted articles about COVID-19 and personal experiences with it. That's right, they're looking for you. Yes, you. To write about your own experiences with COVID and quarantine or just anything about the pandemic. Now, if you followed the leap at all over the past two years, you know we've made a lot of videos about quarantine and our experiences with it and just trying to remain creative and positive during such a depressing time in our lives. But now it's your turn. Uh, whatever you write, it'll be due by January 11th of next year. It can be 800 words or less. It can be written in any language you like. It'll just be printed how it is no matter what. But again, it just has to be about COVID-19 and your experiences with it. So that can be with, uh, it can be with, I guess, work or your mental health or your family or your friends or school or etc. If you're having trouble finding inspiration of what to write or how to write it, then here are the Leopard's lead editors to tell their stories. What I first heard mentioned briefly in my journalism class as a new disease took over my life and then the world more quickly than can really be comprehended. For me, COVID really affected my life because I developed my Tourette's syndrome around the same time that COVID started, or oh, well, a little before that. So I just came back to school with a whole new syndrome and nobody knows about it. I was struggling with depression and anxiety beforehand, and I just wanted to highlight how it sort of, I guess, enhanced that experience, especially through just being pushed forward and forced into such a strange experience, I guess. You can send your submissions over to nicole.wilson at slcschools.org. And other than that, that is pretty much it. I'll see you in the tabloids. Of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know, where those trees are glistening.